Hi, my name is Milan, and in this series I'm testing out ChatGPT to see how it can help with Power BI development. In today's video, I'm going to be looking to see if ChatGPT can help me out with an average. So let's go into Power BI so I can show you what we're trying to do. I will create an expression, and then we can see if ChatGPT will do the same. So what we have here is our fact internet sales table. There are only two columns that we really need for this example. The first is sales order number, and the second is sales order line number. So each order can have multiple items, and each item is going to be on a different line. So you can have one order, one sales order, let's call it sales order number 100, with five items. So you will see five rows, uh, with numbers going from one to five. What we want to know is what is the average number of items purchased in an order. So how do we do that? Well, we can create a new measure and call it, we can call it average number of items. I'll put my name at the end so I know this one is me. What we want to do for this is have an average X. We want to summarize that table so the fact internet sales table, you want to group it by order number. And we want to count the number of rows. So we can do, we can call it items. Do a count of the order line number. And then our expression is simply going to be items. There we are. Oh, I haven't really formatted this very well, but this should work. So I can bring it in as a card and let's have a look at what it gives us. This is the average number of items, 2.18. And that is an average out of all of the data that we have. So let's see if ChatGPT can give us a similar result. In fact, the same result. There are multiple ways or expressions that can be used, of course, so it'll be interesting to see if ChatGPT comes up with a different solution. What I'm going to do is have Power BI on the right here so that I can correctly uh, use the column names. So what I am going to say, and I'm just going to say in natural language, is that I have a table called Fact Internet Sales with sales order number, and I will tell power, tell ChatGPT what it is, and sales order line number. And another now I can tell ChatGPT what the columns are. Now I've told ChatGPT the context of the issue. I now want to ask it to return a DAX expression. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. And I absolutely love the fact that it gives it to us in this box here. And it also um, 
I just can't get over the fact how it actually presents it and formats it as well. So what it's given to us is an average X of the fact internet sales table with a distinct count of the sales order line number. Let's bring this in and see what happens. So the measure itself isn't throwing out any errors. However, the number is not what we have originally calculated. And the reason that is it is incorrect is because it is doing a distinct count of the sales order line column. Okay, so I am going to tell Power BI what I think needs to happen instead, which is that the average X, X part of the expression should be referencing a summarized table. It's interesting that it's put it in two different measures. So what I'm going to do is ask ChatGPT to put it into one measure. And again, if I were to create a new measure items for order and then create a second measure, this probably would still work. However, I just want it as one single measure. As you can see, it's, it's, it's done it. It's combined the two above. Now let's see if this gives us the correct answer. And already look at that. It's given us exactly the same answer as our original expression. This is my original expression. It, it does an average X, summarizes the fact internet sales table. So you have sales order number and the number of items in each order. Mine uses a count, but as each item has a different number, you can also use a distinct count. And that's exactly what Power BI has, uh, sorry, that's exactly what ChatGPT has done over here. Not only that, where I was a bit lazy and didn't even bother with any formatting, putting things in new lines and indenting, ChatGPT has done it automatically. That is pretty cool. So originally, as you can see, it didn't give us what we want. Now with knowledge of DAX, that helped. I don't know if someone without any DAX knowledge would have been able to tell ChatGPT what was incorrect. So it can't replace our jobs just yet. 
However, it eventually found the correct solution. And not only that, it, it went from putting two measures into one. So this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, it can definitely help with coding and it can definitely help to make us more efficient uh, and increase our output. And that is what I am most excited about. So I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a like if you learned anything and subscribe if you haven't already.